Okay, guys. Today's test drive is this 2003 Ford Crown Vic. This one's got the 4.6 liter under the hood. It does have all the cop stuff. You've got the CB. You've got the radar detectors in the front and the rear. You've got the flashers. Some of them are working. Some of them aren't. Is that showing up on my camera? The refresh rate. Yeah, it is. Sometimes. But no, it's flashing like crazy in person. That is due to the camera. But what we're going to do is take it down the road and point out chips, scratches, flaws. How does it run? How does it drive? That way you know exactly what you're getting before you come up here to pick this ride up. Be sure to check out the detailed pictures at maplemotors.com. We do have financing on something like this. We also have shipping. I want to jump in here and check everything out. For now, it's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Before we take off, we'll look around the interior and check everything out. Like I said, it's got everything. Let's go ahead and start her up. Looks like all of our gauges are coming up on the dash and it is showing 172,000 miles. We also have an ABS and a brake light on. I don't know if the brake light's coming from this down here or what, but it is on. Got the old Cobra CB, which does work. You know, check it, check it. It's coming through. And you've also got the actual channel where you can go through, mess around with a CB. Um, this one, this is where you cut those lights on on the marker lights, you cut them back off. Definitely don't be riding around with those, you will get in trouble. One of the cool features on this one, I don't know how to cut this on, but it'll tell you the speed of everybody if I actually knew how to work it. It was working before I messed with it. I thought it was pretty cool because people that were driving by on the road, it was actually picking up their speed. It has a camera up here, always recording every time you turn the car on. Yep, there it goes, it's picking up people. How cool is that? Got the touch screen. Kenwood. Uh, do you think the horn works? It's a game we'll play here in just a moment. We'll crack console. Extra storage. The seats are a little bit dirty. It could be steam clean. Not too bad back here. Horn. Then you flip the switch. So yeah, it's got two separate horns. Does AC work? We'll cut it on a second. We'll find out. This is a gas cap switch. It looks like this. It's missing a clip. And your trunk pot. You also got a trunk pot here, and the AC is getting cold. Good deal. Let's go ahead and hit the road, and we'll see how she runs and drives. Okay, so we don't need gas. We're gonna run around the block and try not to get in trouble in this thing. I've already had a little bit of fun with everybody, just like Pat. Sir. <laughs> oh, let's keep rolling here. All right. So far, so good. Feels pretty silky running out of here with the steering. showing me what everybody's speed's going and it was telling me that they're i guess going over the speed limit i don't know how that works i'm not a cop seems to be running pretty good oh tire chart straight as an arrow go down the road brakes brakes feel pretty good not bad at all yeah this is a silky filling ride right now Nice and smooth. We're gonna run up here across town and uh, see if we can mess around with some people that I know. <laughs> Not on the road, I'm gonna get off the road to do it. But yeah, we're gonna try and have a little fun with this. Hopefully they're home. 
so far so good we got cold ac everything seems to be working the way it, it's supposed to uh this is literally telling me how fast everybody's going which i think is awesome you can change it to the rear just like that as they're coming up let's see if it works I don't know if the rear is picking up. There was a guy coming up behind me, but this is the first time I've messed with any of this stuff. Okay, it switched back for the front. And now it's picking it up again. That's cool. Got a lot of cool gadgets. I think this is your switch for all of this as it runs down. As far as the uh, windows and stuff, passenger window is not coming down. Got a great sounding motor. All right, guys, I'll be back here in just a moment. We're gonna get some undercarriage shots, just kind of check the car out a little bit more. And we'll head back to the lot, and that's where I'm going to do uh, picking out the flaws. I'll be looking at chips, scratches, dents, rust. If anything is on this car, I will let you know. That's exactly why I do the videos, guys. I'll be right back. Okay. Let's go ahead and take off here. I was hoping I'd be able to scare somebody, but uh, all my friends are working, which is great. Need to be. But... <laughs> It would have been a lot cooler if I could just roll up on them at their house and get them to come outside and scare them. Wasn't able to do that. So I guess I'll head back to the lot. ABS and brake light are still on. I haven't noticed any issues with the brakes. I'm wondering if it is a uh, has to do with the one on the floor, but it's still not cutting off. The brakes feel fine. I'm not having any issues with them. See, stopping and going has no issues there. <laughs> but I tell you what, that guy is going to hold us up a long time, so I'm going to go back around the other direction
all the gauges seem to be in the uh, optimal place oil pressure is high engine temperature is right in the dead center gas is about half a tank right now which is fine volts meter is reading about halfway to which is where it should be Okay guys, we've ran into another traffic jam here. But so far so good on this test drive. I haven't had any issues other than the lights popping up. Um, and it's got a lot of cool features in here that you can play around with, but you're not allowed to use these on the road if you're not law enforcement. So I would not suggest doing so. It's very cool seeing everybody's speeds. I do like that. Uh, this light here, I didn't even check to see if it works, let's see. It does, it cuts on. That's cool. I noticed a lot of people are hitting their brakes if you watch through the video you see some people you run up on they'll hit their brakes for no reason <laughs> just because it looks like a cop car but it used to be let's see Get close to being back to the lot. I wonder if we should slide through Brian's and see if we can mess with them a little bit. They probably get a kick out of it. I think we're gonna do so. Let's jump over here and see uh, what they got going on today. So I like riding through Brian's because he does a lot of car customization. He's always got something new going on down here. There's usually something high dollar down here. Another reason. And it's just interesting to look at. I use them for all of my personal rides. Whenever I need wheels and tires or I'm pretty good with stereo stuff, so I don't really mess with him on that, but he does that as well. Custom boxes. But there's a, he owns a shoe shop through here. There's a barber shop. A few things he can mess with. Here, let's go ahead. I'll turn the lights on. I don't want to scare that guy in front of me, so I'm not going to mess with him. We're not on the main road anymore. Let's see what we got. Hey, right, put that chair in my car. <laughs> I need some custom seats. <laughs> what are you doing? You look like you're up to no good. 
<laughs> mess around with them. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, look, they're taking in stereo stuff now. Looks like some kickers and all that. That's Brian's dad there. Y'all have a good day. <laughs> All right, guys, we're gonna head on back to the lot. That was all the fun I could have. Everybody's working. That's what I need to be doing. So I'm gonna head on back up here, get this video ready for you and put it out. That way you know exactly what this cord's about. If you don't mind, hit subscribe and subscribe and wait till the end of the video here. You'll be able to see the full detail walk around where I'm walking around the car looking for chips, scratches, any kind of flaws. Again, thank you for watching and I'll see you later. Okay, I'm going to walk around this ride and look for any kind of chips, dents, scratches, rust, whatever there is. That way you know what you get. Let's go ahead and get started. There is 100 detailed pictures at maplemotors.com. So let's go ahead. Uh, the headlights are a little bit yellowed here on the front. Coming around the front, you do get a lot of little chips. Like cracking in the paint job. Chips around that grill. Down here on the front as well. few things coming down this side a few little cracks in the paint job there little spot there definitely picked up some dirt on this test drive here do get a few chips scattered out around the bottom too from the road rocks Light scratch right there. <clears throat> Back to this midsection. Scuffs right here. Little chips here and there. More touch up marks. Little scuffs here and there. That wiped off. Front windshield on this one is solid, looks good, no chips. Scratches there, you can see where they cut that out for the light. Got some chips in the back here. Go ahead and look over the roof before we make it too far. Back window's not bad on this. We'll be looking at it fully when I shut the trunk. You got chips up here on top. Little scuffs. Went around the back. there 
scratch here on the side. The seal looks great around the trunk. The trunk itself, huge. Coming on down with the trunk lid. Shuts pretty easy. You do get a chip here. Touch up mark there. More touch up marks. Chips along the hood or the trunk here. Some of this is dirt. Looks like it's wiping off. Back window, not in bad shape at all. Coming down this side. Lots of rock chips down here on the back. Discoloration there. Chips along the edge of that door. See some scuff marks down here at the bottom. There on the inside. You got chips on top of the fender here. Little scuffs there. Front windshield on this one is in good shape on this side as well. You do have chips on the roof. Little spot there. Okay. We've made it around this ride. We'll look around the inside real quick. Get her started up. Door panel on this one, a little discolor, but it's not all tore up and you're missing a clip here. Weather strip, it actually looks pretty good. Your jams are not bad. Somebody had to break in this car at one point. That's what that's about, I bet. Carpet's not bad. The seat is a little faded, a little dirty. It's got a rip here and there. Same with that console, it's kind of cracked. Starts up pretty good. Even got a light here. Motor's nice and quiet. Come on down with the hood. It's got few, a few chips around the edges.
I hope you enjoyed this video. There's a walk around pointing out chips, scratches, and flaws on this car. Look at the detailed pictures at maplemotors.com. We have financing and shipping available on everything. You can also see a, a very large variety of different cars, mostly V8, American muscle cars. Uh, but we do pick up some of these Crown Vicks every once in a while. It does have the V8 46. Pretty fast car. And I thought it was kind of unique having all the cop stuff on there. I assume someone probably bought this and then added all of that. Because it doesn't have the uh, all the extreme lights. It's just got flashers on the edges. But yeah, I appreciate you watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe. I'll see you later.